Hi, fifth graders. Today we're going to be doing illustrative math unit four, lesson eight, multiplication fluency. So we're going to practice more multiplication. Here's our number talk. Find the value of each expression mentally. Start with number one, six times 15. Well, I could think about that in my head. I can do six times one, which would be 60, and add that to six times five, which would be 30, and I'm gonna get 90. So that's how I would think of that one. Okay, let's see what they have next for us. Six times 17, well, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna break up that 17 to 10. Oops, sorry about that to 10 and 7. So 10 plus 7. So I can say 6 times 10 is 60, and 6 times 7, right, is going to be 42. And then I can quickly add those two in my head and say that's 102. All right. Okay. Or I could have thought that about that in a different way. I could have said, okay, six times 15 is 90, and then I need two more sixes, right? Two more sixes would be 12, yes, 12. Two times six is 12. So because the, where did I get that two from? The two came from the, seven, the difference between 15 and 17. I needed two more to get to 17. And that also gives me 102. So I can think about it that way. All right, well, we did this in unit three, didn't we? Unit two and three. I can think about this as six times two plus six times one third. Six times two will be 12. And six times a third will be six thirds. And I know that that's six divided by three which is two, so that's gonna be 14. Okay. Six times two and two thirds, well, I just have to add one more third, right? So let's think about that. If I added one more third, I think that would be what? It's one more third times six, really. One more third times six. So that's going to be six times two, plus, plus six times two thirds, which is gonna be 12 thirds, which is gonna be four, right? So now I have to do six times two is 12 plus four. So I'm adding another two thirds or six two thirds, six one thirds. <laughs> All right, so that will be 12 plus four is 16. All right, good thinking, good warm-up game for today. Okay, let's see what's next. All right, so yesterday we played the greatest product game, and today we're going to take some time in class, and we're going to be able to play whatever game we would like, right? Um, and you're going to have time to do that in your class. We're not going to do that on the video, unfortunately, because I don't have any partners to play with, right? So... You get to choose the game of your choice, and then um, you're going to uh, work with a partner playing those games. So instead of doing that, we're going to just move down to the next activity, targeted products. So we're going to use the digits 3, 5, 6, and 8, and, and 9, and make products whose values close to 50,000. Wow. So I'm going to have to think about... What times what is going to give me close to 50,000, right? 50,000. So I can only use these factors in my, these digits in my numbers, and I want to get to 50,000. So what times what in here would get me close to 50,000? I know that 9 times 5 is 45, and 9 times 6 is 54. So should I use nines? Should I use nines and fives? I'm trying to get close to 
50,000. So I think I am. I'm going to try to 9 here and a 5 here. Because that's going to get me close to it. This is going to be too much, right? So I just need to add some other digits to make a product that's going to be close to 50,000. So um, let's see. Let's erase what I've done. There we go. And I've used the 9 and the 5. Um, one thing they didn't say on here, we want to try to use the digits only once. So the other digits that I can use to fill in are going to be 6, 3, 6, and 8. So where should I put that? Well, if I did 9 times 5, I think that I want the, the smallest digit to be with the 5 because I want to keep this as close to 50 as possible. And I don't want this to be much over 9, um, over 900. So, or, or I don't want it to go to 1,000, right? So I'm going to go 6 and 8. So let's see what happens if I do 968. And I'm writing it over here because I don't have enough room there. Times 53. 3 times 8 is 24. 3 times 6 is 18. Plus the 2 is going to be 20. 3 times 9 is 27. 28, 29. And then I can mark these off. I'm going to be multiplying by a 50, so I'm just going to go ahead and add my zero there. 5 times 8 is 40. I'm going to write that up there. 5 times 6 is 30, but I'm going to add that 4, so it's going to be 34. And right, 5 times 6 is 45. See, we already talked about that. 45 plus the 3 is 48. I think I might be a little bit over, but I think I'm really close, right? 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 8 plus 2 is 10, plus 1 is 11, and 4 plus 1 is 5. That is really close to 50,000, isn't it? Now, did I have to get exactly 50,000? No, it said close to. So I'm going to be really happy with that. Okay. Now I have to think about these digits, and I have to make a product who's very close to 20,000. So I'm going to do the same process. What two numbers, when I multiply them together, is going to get me close to 20? Well, I know that 6 and 3 are going to give me 18, right? 6 and 3 are 18, right? So I'm going to go ahead and choose 3 for here. Let's see, how else could I think about that? I want. I know I want to get close to 6, but I don't know that I want this to be a 6. I think I'm going to do 598 times 36. Let's see what that does. Let's see what that does. So this is close to 600, and this is this is too big, isn't it? I think it but we'll see. Let's try it. 598 times 36. 6 times 8 is 48. 6 times 5 is 54. So that's plus 4 is 58. 6 times 5 is 30. Plus 5 is 35. Okay? And I have taken care of this and this. So now I'm going to make sure that I add my 10s because this is going to be 30 times 8. 30 times 8 is 24, 3 times 9 is 27, plus 2 is 29, and 3 times 5 is 15, plus 2 is 17. Let's see, did I do that right? 3 times 8 is 24, 3 times 9 is 27, 28, 29, 15. Okay. I think it might be too big, but we'll see. 8, that's going to be 12, that's going to be 15, 7, 10, 11. Well, that's not too bad, right? Not too bad. I got 21,528. I wonder if you could pick some digits in different places to make that even closer to 20,000. All right, that did take a lot of thought today, a lot of thought. Okay, let's see what they have for us next. Oh, here we go. How did you change your reasoning about where to put each digit? 
Well, I really had to think about how I was going to estimate those numbers, right? I had to think about where, what I was going to do, what the hundreds and the tens were going to be when I multiplied them together. When your target number was 50,000, what did you choose for the hundreds place? Well, I chose nine because I thought I could use the five or six in the tens of the other number and get pretty close to 50,000. Oops, sorry about that. When your target was 20,000, what did you choose for your hundreds place? I chose six because I thought six times three in the tens place would give me 18,000, which is pretty close to 20,000. So that's how I chose those numbers. Today we played some games that helped us practice multi-digit multiplication. How did the games help you think about multiplying multi-digit numbers? All right, our cool down is just to describe something you really understand well from this section on multiplying multi-digit numbers or describe something that was confusing or challenging. And if you tell your teacher that, she can really help you or he can really help you to focus on the next few lessons. All right, I'll see you in the next lesson. Thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe.